Okay, Bournemouth have been very, very busy uh, today in the transfer market. They've uh, signed Dominic Solanke uh, for £19 million and got Nathaniel Klein on loan uh, from Liverpool. Uh, Nathaniel Klein is there just for injury cover till the end of the season. We know about Lewis Cook and others who've had um, injuries uh, in defence midfield. So Nathaniel Klein is going to be like a utility defence midfielder, something like that. That's an injury cover. That was expected. Uh, Solanke, I wasn't actually expecting Bournemouth to, to sign a striker. Uh, but with uh, Jermaine Defoe going to Rangers uh, on loan and the interest that's attracted, uh, Bournemouth have obviously acted very, very quickly and obviously have planned this, uh, these transfers uh, before the transfer market uh, opened and the window opened. I think Bournemouth have very be getting their, their signings done very, 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 very quickly. Um, they, were, they were hoping to get Solanke on loan, but there were Premier League rules prohibiting that. Um, for some reason, I don't know the ins and outs of that. So they signed him for 19 million. That's not a little. That's not a bad little investment. I think, uh, considering he was signed on a free from Chelsea by Liverpool, um, obviously his performances last season have increased his value and his worth. Um, I think Bournemouth have been very, very shrewd in, in who they've signed, and I wouldn't be surprised if Nathaniel Klein uh, possibly gets a con uh, possibly gets picked up as well with the option of signing at the end of the season. Um, I think Bournemouth have, have been very, very shrewd in, in their business today. Um, with Defoe leaving, Solanke, uh, yeah, there are some fitness concerns there. I think he's had a, a long-standing thigh injury that just is a bit niggly. Um, but Eddie Howe has proven before that the players who've been on the treatment table, he can help them get their fitness back. He's a very, very good man manager. I think he'll work with players who may be low on confidence. We don't know if Solanke's a bit, a bit low on confidence because of those little niggling little injuries. Um, we saw when he had Jack Wilshere on line for a season, he improved Jack Wilshere uh, and his fitness and, 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 you know, he kept him fit for a large portion of the season. He wasn't as bothered by those niggling little injuries. So clearly Bournemouth have a very good fitness regime down at the South Coast. And Nathaniel Klein obviously played at, played at Southampton, so being on the South Coast won't, won't be alien to him. Um, he will have a lot of friends in the area, so he'll settle in pretty quick. And I think Bournemouth have been very, 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 very shrewd in who they've signed. Um, obviously, we've had the busy Christmas period and that has had some effect on, on Bournemouth's squad. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they pick up another player or two. I really wouldn't be surprised. We've obviously got, Bournemouth have obviously got a few injuries uh, and and therefore I wouldn't be surprised if they edged out an extra player uh, just to, on a, maybe a six-month contract uh, or another loan uh, before the end of the year, before the end of the window. But I think what they're adding, they're adding in the right places. Um, Solanke is clearly one for the future. Eddie Howe, obviously, uh, this is more of a long-term investment than they initially uh, intended. Um, and Liverpool may come back. I don't think it's going to come back and bite Liverpool. They've got enough forward depth at the moment um, with, with Mo Salah and Firmino and, and, uh, and, and Mane. Um, obviously, Solanke is... Is their understudy, but if one of those players were to get injured, then then Liverpool might be going. We might have might have made an error of judgment there, but I wouldn't be surprised if Liverpool make some moves now in the transfer market now that they've shipped off two players. But there we go. Bournemouth have been very very busy uh, today, obviously with the departure of Jermaine Defoe, that that sort of triggered uh, Bournemouth's. Um, Bournemouth's response to that and there we go thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe place your comments below and I'll have some more videos for you soon